Hello friends, I am starting a new series on ELT research methodology. This is the first video of that kind. If you watch this video, you will get to know complete details about what are the methodology, methodologies are supposed to be employed for ELT research. So this is an introductory video, then I will talk about each, by each method in detail. First of all, what are the methodologies you are supposed to use in ELT research, that is English language teaching research. First, there are five methodologies. Obviously, the first one is qualitative methodology where in the, in the qualitative methodology you are supposed to derive the data, non-numerical data you will derive and you will collect the data through forms of interview, observation, even some kind of, uh, some kind of detailed questionnaires. So in the qualitative research, you will try to bring out the impact about the particular methodology or other thing on learners and as well as the teachers or teaching methodologies. So you will, you will try to study the non-numerical data in depth. You will bring out the impact of those things in our research. That is qualitative approach, qualitative methodology in ELT number one. Number two, quantitative. In the quantitative methodology, you just to derive the data. It is not non-numerical here, it is a numerical data. Whereas in the qualitative, you will try to bring out the uh, what you call learners and teachers opinion and the, the some kind of depth analysis. Whereas here, instead of bringing out that, you will test the hypothesis. You will frame the hypothesis through the numerical data and the statistical tools. You will try to prove the uh, uh, hypothesis. So generally, hypothesis testing is done through the quantitative methodology in ELT. Third thing is called case study methodology that is a case study research here you select particular group of students it may be it a single classroom or a particular college or a particular district and you take that particular case and you go in depth. So this in depth analysis will bring you lot of inputs to the common public how they are supposed to carry forward with a certain new methodology or how the new system or a particular new teaching approach or intervention is being useful or you know, being useful or useless, you will be able to study. So the purpose of case study research is in-depth analysis of the particular given phenomena and finally the researcher will bring out the actual output of that particular case. This is the, what you could, this is third. Fourth one is called action research. Action research, it generally starts with the planning, reflection and action. See, action research generally used for the teacher for the professional development. First thing, they will do a research based on the existing problem they, they face in their classroom. So, for that first thing, they will plan. Then they will take an action. Action means, see, assume that my students do not understand my pronunciation. Then what I am supposed to do? I should use certain methodology to change my pronunciation. In case I change certain thing, then I, uh, no, I plan for a certain action. I just I plan, then I do, do, do it in the class, then I reflect what kind of changes it's happening. This is for teacher. But the, similarly, the teacher can take a common problem why students are making lot of errors in use of, usage of articles. So he can plan, he can take some action, then he can reflect, then finally he can reflect whether it has given any improvement. So teacher uh, action research in another way it is called teacher research. It is generally meant for professional development, general professional development. That is fourth one. Fifth one is called mixed method uh, research methodology where here you a researcher do not rely on only one method. Instead of he may combine whatever I listed the four, four methodology that is quantitative, qualitative, case study, action research. So he can combine anything but majorly the mixed method will combine quantitative plus qualitative research. They may not use the case study and action research but generally mixed method research will combine qualitative and quantitative research approach and they will because when they collect the numerical data, it is complemented with the uh, non-numerical data, the research validity become higher. 
so it has more relevance more uh, uh, more usefulness to the to the people that's why mixed method research is actually it's a recommended one to make your research more meaningful and more useful so th these are the five methodologies you are supposed to use in the coming videos let me post you how to employ each and every method with certain examples and you may uh, you, you may use it in your own research so i hope this video will be useful to you if you find it useful the only one thing what i want you is share it to others let them get benefited i'll catch you in the next video bye bye